Hello everyone, I hope you are doing great and enjoying your summer. In this chapter, we will continue our series of lectures on Excel. We are going to be working multi on multiple worksheets and workbooks in Excel. Sometimes we need to keep the data of different departments separately in different worksheets of a workbook to be able to refer back to them more easily. For example, sales, marketing and accounting are working separately but in collaboration with each other. That would be much easier for the owner of a business to have data of each department in a separate worksheet. The process of summarizing data of different worksheets in a single place is called consolidation. The project we are going to be working in this chapter is the worksheets shown uh, in this slide. Williams Franchise Holdings maintain a snack food kiosks in three separate retail venues. Product costs are fixed, but other expenses can vary. The worksheet shown in this slide shows that variable expenses for 2014 and project e expenses for 2015 and 16. Uh, that company would like to know the consolidated budgets for the three kiosks. They also want to know uh, the individual kiosk expenses on separate worksheets. The requirements uh, for the William Franchise Holdings Consolidated Workbook is shown in this slide, which includes needs, sources of data, summary of calculations, and other facts about the development. For example, for the needs, we have to uh, develop a workbook containing three worksheets for three franchise holding company. Data uh, is going to be provided by the company. Uh, we will be working with uh, some fictional data and the calculations uh, are based on these kind of formulas. The overall layout of uh, Williams Franchise Holding Consolidated Worksheet consists of titles, column and row uh, headings, the location of data values, and a general idea of the desired formatting uh, are provided here. So the first step in creating the workbook is to create the consolidated expense worksheet. And then the consolidated worksheet contains uh, containing title, column, and rows. Uh, is going to be copied uh, across the sheets and uh, each sheet will include uh, separate uh, data of uh, separate branches. So now let's go to Microsoft Excel and uh, develop the workbook for uh, Williams Franchise Holding Company. So first I'm going to de define a title merge these cells and define title for this company Williams franchise holdings uh, I'm gonna merge the lower uh, cells to make the header for the rest of the table consolidated expenses worksheet so here I'm going to define the expense category expense uh, according to the table provided in page 278 in uh, Excel chapter 5 of the textbook it includes payroll benefits, rent, utilities, equipment maintenance, maintenance, advertising, and administrative fee.
So expense category uh, includes year 2014, 2015 percentage of uh, change, 2016, 2015, 2016 percentage of change, 2016 and average percentage change. Change. So let's work on the style of uh, these titles, headers, and the values of each column. So first I'm going to highlight these two parts. Let's select the header of the table, go to the cell header. I'm going to select header 1. For the subheader, I'm going to select a smaller font and style. So I'm going to select this table and then right click define border for this table so to be able to fit the data I'm gonna make it each cell bigger Two thousand sixteen and average change. So I'm going to highlight this part and then again go to the style. Let's see what we got in different styles. This one looks good, so I'm going to select this one and change its style to like. Do this style so. Let's say we want to enter some sample data, for example, 1, and uh, each value increments by 1. So I'm going to select this part and then drag it down so it's going to automatically populate the other cells. For the percentage of change, I'm going to start with 2 and uh, with 2 increments. Again, 2, 4, and then select and drag it down until it populates. For the 2015, the result is going to be round of uh, C5, uh, C6 plus C6 multiplied by percentage of change or D6 and 2. So the round function in Excel is used to round numbers to a specified number of decimal places. Uh, here we see the general form of the round function equals round. It has two parts, number and number of digits. If the number of digits in the argument is greater than zero, then the number is going to be rounded up to the nearest digit to the right. If the number of digit is equal to zero, then the number is going to be rounded to the nearest integer. And uh, if the number of digit um, is less than zero, then the number is going to be rounded down uh, uh, to the specified number of digits 
of the left uh, with the decimal points. So we define the function and now we can copy it down. Let's select this one and copy it across. The rows again for the percentage of change in 2016 we want to start with 2 and we assume that the percentage of change it increments by 2 so again for the 2016 I'm going to use the same formula It's going to be round of the year 2015 or E6 plus E6 multiplied by F6 and it has to be rounded to the nearest number on the right of uh, this value with two digits so these two refers to the number of digits of the nearest number on the right of this value so now again I'm gonna copy it down and for the percentage of change, average change it's going to be sum of the percentage of change in 2016 and uh, 2015 d6 plus f6 since we want to calculate uh, get the average of uh, these two it has to be divided by 2 so here is the average percentage of change so far so now let's we have to uh, work with the style and format of these values since uh, these numbers refer to the dollar amount we have to select these values and then right click go to the number and select currency with two decimal places and for the percentage of change right click format cells and we can select percentage with two decimal points so here we can calculate the sum of the expenses so it is going to be a sum of the this column from C6 through C12 C6 colon C12 for 2015 equals sum of the E6 uh, through E12 For 2016, it's going to be sum of the G6 through G12 Here's the summation of uh, these values for each of these years These are just sample data These are not uh, more of a fictional data than actual But uh, the point is how to work with this data and get calculation of these uh, uh, values so now uh, this company has three branches uh, let's go to the textbook and see uh, what are the names of these branches So it has um, Westgate Mall and etc. 
so now we have this form and uh, we want to use uh, the same form for all three branches of this company one way is to just select these cells by highlighting the formulas control C and then go to the new sheet and paste it control C new sheet and then paste it or we can just simply let me uh, delete this sheet the other way is to just right click on this sheet click move or copy create a copy of this form okay since it has uh, three branches I'm gonna make three copies of uh, this sheet create copy and later on I will change the name of each of these sheets uh, move or copy okay so in the first sheet we want to have the summary of the all three branches so I'm gonna call it consolidated form this one we assume that it, it is going to um, hold the data of Westgate Mall okay the second sheet is going to hold the data of Green Hill Mall Green Hill Mall and the third sheet is going to keep the data of Preston uh, Plaza okay so we can uh, make changes in all these uh, three um, branches for example we can select each of these values each of these uh, forms for example consolidated form and then hold down the shift button and then click on the other sheets so now we have all of the data each change uh, any change in any part of this form um, is going to change all the entire uh, kind of workbook for example if I change the person uh, the dollar here from one to three it's going to show up in all these kind of four uh, forms or worksheets now let's say now we have created the data of these three forms and each branch may have their own data their expenses so we can individually work with this kind of table and etc but whenever we want to make a change uh, in all these forms we can select and do them in just one place so now we have data of these three branches in the consolidated form is supposed to uh, keep the data of the, these all these three branches for example the owner of the business may not have enough time to go through all the um, data or numbers of several branches it needs an overview of the uh, expenses of the entire company so we have to keep all of the data in one form which is called consolidated form so in the consolidated form we want to get the summary of the all three branches for example here for the to calculate the total payroll paid across in all these three branches we can use for example sum and then we can go to by holding down the shift button we can click on Westgate Mall let me ungroup and do this over okay this one is going to be the summation we can go to Westgate Mall
and then uh, hold down Westgate Mall hold down the shift button and then click Preston Plaza So for this part, we're going to enter SUM, we're going to select we hold down the shift button and then Preston Plaza is going to be the last one. So this summation is going to include benefits from Westgate Mall all the way through Preston Plaza. And now we can close the bracket. We get the summation of all these three branches. And we can do the same for the other part of the formula. So this word consolidated form, it includes uh, the summation of um, different type of expenses, expense categories in all these three branches. Here is the summation for the entire company by using this kind of summation formula it is going to refer to Westgate Mall and the name of the worksheet and then calculate the summation of these values in all these three sheets in one place which is called consolidated form so now we can plot it in a kind of pie chart to be able to visualize the numbers so I'm gonna highlight this one and click on insert from the recommended I'm gonna select pie chart 3d pie Pi expulsion and then I'm gonna click add data label to get the percentage of each of the expenses so this way uh, we can uh, get the report of uh, several branches of a company and put them in one single place and then sh uh, plot it in a kind of pie chart to be able to compare different elements of uh, expenses across um, a company or a business so this is basically how we can work with uh, uh, various formulas like round formula how to create consolidated form how to plot the variables uh, in one place using different type of kind of charts so we can uh, change the appearance of these formulas by changing their style and uh, how to uh, work with uh, different data from a uh, different part of a company so if you have any questions if something is not clear uh, please free, feel free to join my virtual meeting room thank you